I can actually see the split ends. It just looks really oily, like I haven't washed it in a while. The only thing with castor oil is that it's so thick. So this is the coconut oil. Oh my gosh. This is the castor oil. Hmm, as I'm watching this back, I am a little bit lost slash confused. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be trying coconut oil versus castor oil in my hair. So I'm gonna be applying coconut oil on this side of my hair, castor oil on this side of my hair. In about eight hours, I'm gonna shampoo and wash it out. And I'm gonna see which oil is better for helping to repair damaged hair. And obviously overall just for helping your hair to feel a lot silkier, smoother, and just more healthy. So I know that you guys can't tell, but first of all, I'm on like day four right now of hair. The ends of my hair are pretty damaged. Let me just show you guys up close what my ends are looking like. Here's a good strand to show you guys. I feel like it may not be as clear on camera but it's like at that stage where when you touch it it just like feels really crunchy and as I go down my hair like this it goes from feeling silky and smooth and damage free to just feeling broken at the end so there's some more and by the way I think I mentioned this but the damage at the ends of my hair is from heat see how it's like dried I can actually see the split ends I don't know if they're coming up on camera I'm gonna part my hair down the middle so this is a coconut oil that I'm gonna be using it's the Trader Joe's virgin coconut oil unrefined organic this is my second favorite coconut oil my first favorite or my very favorite is the Vita Coco coconut oil which I will link down below that one is like amazing this one is my second favorite it, so I'm just gonna take some out. It's kind of melting because it's hot. All right, since I don't want it to get underneath my nails, I'm just using that part of my hand. I'm gonna get more, but first we're just gonna start with this. If you guys have never used coconut oil before, when you rub it in between your hands, it completely melts. I am just running this through my hair. just like excessive it just looks really oily like I haven't washed it in a while so I think I may need to add a little bit more to the ends though okay so now we're gonna move on to castor oil this is my favorite castor oil it's the Viva Naturals Organic Castor Oil. I will link this down below as well if you guys wanna check it out. Castor oil I found is really helpful for hair growth. I have a few videos on that, which I will also link below if you guys are interested. But it's also just like, I don't know, whenever I use castor oil afterwards, my hair just feels really nice and healthy. The only thing with castor oil that makes me like kind of not like it as much as coconut oil is that it's so thick. It does not rub through your hair as easily as coconut oil does. You kind of have to just like apply it exactly where you want it and then just try really hard to blend it through your hair because it's thick, it's sticky, and it just never wants to blend. See, it almost like adds weight to my hair because it's just such a thick oil. So hard to put in your hair. This is actually a very cute look. Castor oil, coconut oil. My buns are lopsided. All right, that's as good as it's gonna get. I, I can't do that anymore. Again, coconut oil, castor oil. This side is clearly being weighed down more by the heavy castor oil, whereas this side, like this bun is just like sitting up. So these oils are gonna stay in my hair for the next eight hours. When they're done, I'm gonna take a shower, rinse them out with the same exact shampoo and conditioner, and then I'm going to let my hair air dry and we're gonna be able to see the true way that coconut oil works in hair versus castor oil. I will talk to you guys in eight hours. So I totally feel like I'm gonna regret filming this first thing in the morning because I think I look like a ball of crust but I actually let this sit in my hair for much longer than eight hours. So let's just call it 16 hours. And I mean, it doesn't really feel much different from when I first applied it in my hair, but I am very excited to wash this out. So this is the coconut oil. Oh my gosh, 
this is the castor oil i'm going to take a shower and then i'm going to let my hair air dry because i want to be able to see what the full results are without any type of products besides shampoo and conditioner and without any type of heat or anything like that i just want to see the raw real results so i'm gonna hop in the shower rinse this out of my hair and then i will be back with the finished product all right so i'm here now to tell you guys what happened to my hair after i tried coconut oil on this side and castor oil on this side as a damage repair treatment one thing that i noticed when i was rinsing out my hair was that of course with the coconut oil side it was a lot easier to rinse out so i used it on this side when i was shampooing this side it really didn't take much to get that oily feeling out of my hair whereas when I was shampooing on the right side with the castor oil it took a lot more shampoo to get the product out that makes sense this oil is thicker this oil is not as thick and it's a lot more sleek I just parted my hair down in the middle just so that you guys could see and I don't know if it's even really that visible but as my hair was drying I actually noticed that the side of my hair that had the coconut oil it was just a lot closer to the natural texture of my hair versus the side without the coconut oil it almost looked like my hair was drying in a wave pattern I know that I have pretty straight to semi wavy hair but as it was air drying I noticed like little curls especially in the baby hairs part whereas on the side with the castor oil I don't know I just kind of felt like it all just fell flat and you guys can even see it here this side has a lot more body to it whereas this side is a lot flatter with that being said if you guys have super curly hair castor oil may be a good option for you because if you guys have the problem where your hair is too big too voluminous maybe castor oil would be good for you to help tame your hair now for the final thing that i want to report on the main part of this video which side of my hair appears less damaged okay i'm surprised because i honestly thought it was gonna be the castor oil side but i feel like it's the coconut oil side this side to me just looks a lot healthier and I don't know i feel like it just looks a lot shinier a lot more like my natural hair texture where this like even though i said that the castor oil kind of made my hair fall flat it doesn't really appear like that at the very ends of my hair but i feel like it looks a lot more dry than the coconut oil side does i'm just like moving so you guys can see the shine it honestly still looks a little oily yeah i definitely think coconut oil is the way to go hmm as i'm watching this back i am a little bit lost slash confused because i am just having a hard time figuring out which side actually does look healthier i know in the video i was saying that the coconut oil side looked healthier but sometimes the castor oil side looks a little bit shinier other times the coconut oil side looks a little bit shinier and healthier i'm not really sure what do you guys think also just like watching the video back i've realized that I still stay true to what I said where I do like the coconut oil better than the castor oil but I think that now that I'm just like explaining this the reason why the castor oil side looks a little bit healthier at some points when I'm just looking at the ends is because it actually still has some of the oil on the ends of the hair so it appears shinier it is but it's really the oil because that oil is super thick i put a lot in my hair and it is really freaking hard to get out of course i know a lot of you guys may be thinking like well you should have washed the castor oil out more i definitely think that that may have helped a little bit but just the fact that the castor oil side almost looks dry and oily i just don't think that that is really a good mix for my hair every hair type is different but if you guys have hair similar to mine where you have a ton of hair it's not super thick it's not super thin it's just in the middle and it's honestly not even that wavy it's like more wavy straight i definitely think coconut oil is a better oil to use i mean the castor oil side doesn't necessarily look bad but i just feel like it visibly looks not as healthy as the left side it just looks a lot more dry a lot more blah than the left side that i use the coconut oil with that being said castor oil is still a really good oil for your hair from my experience i've used it to try to help grow my hair my hair is doing pretty well with growing right now so i actually stopped using it right now i'm using it on my eyelashes if you're looking for an oil that's going to help rejuvenate your hair and make it look a lot healthier i think if you have hair like mine coconut oil would be your best bet so if you guys want to check out the coconut oil that is my favorite that's vita coco i will link it in the description down 
down below. Also, if you guys want to check out the castor oil that I use, I love this castor oil. I will link this down below as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love all of you and I will talk to you guys next time.